After the end of the Napoleonic Wars, a large colony of foreigners, mainly British diplomats and their families, lived in Kadeth from 1815. Romantic travelers, with their taste for the exotic and unusual, also wrote stories and painted artworks about the most peculiar customs of the Andalusian land, forming a veritable ethnographic and literary corpus that will forever shape the romantic literary image of Andalusia. Both influenced the local production of easel paintings that corresponded to what was considered modern at the time. Writers such as Washington Irvine, Richard Ford, Alexander Dumas, and artists such as David Roberts and John Frederick Lewis, to name but a few, contributed to the romantic myth about the costumes and landmarks of Andalusia. Romanticism was one of the great chapters in the history of Andalusian art. In an era that celebrated the entrepreneurial artist serving tourists with transportable easel paintings, the lexicon of iconographic images of southern Spain was catalogued in the most vivid costumes, especially those of dancers and bullfighters, but also in iconic monuments as well as stories of lovers, wild tavern parties and bandits hiding in the mountains, to name a few. Locals, however, preferred to buy paintings that were about Cadiz. This active port and its impregnable 18th-century defenses were not only a metropolis of the American colonies, but also a reference city for modernization. It was the place where a new society with new ideologies emerged, influencing the historical development of Spain in the 19th century. The role that the city and its important bourgeoisie played in this sense is undeniable, especially with regard to the emergence and spread of liberal ideologies. Dear viewers, I want to extend my sincere gratitude to each one of you for taking the time to watch this educational lesson on video. Your support for SpainLifestyle.com is greatly appreciated, and it means so much to me. Through your engagement with this video, you have shown a passion for learning and a desire to expand your knowledge on Spain's unique and wonderful culture. I am honored to be a part of that journey for you. As I work hard to continue to bring you the best educational content, I encourage you to visit my website SpainLifestyle.com for more lessons, books, and informative articles. SpainLifestyle.com also has a Facebook page and a YouTube channel. I also have several historical textbooks and interesting travel guides on Amazon for you to read, learn, and enjoy, all with colorful illustrations. Once again, Thank you for your support and for being a part of my Spanish art lovers community. I hope you will enjoy everything that SpainLifestyle.com has to offer.